Welcome back to another Flipping Tables. Today we have a game for you that's available now. So if you like what you're seeing, you can actually run out and get it right now. It's available on Amazon and it is called Coder Mars. Uh, this is a great game for young kids, ages six and up, for two to four players. Yeah, teaching game. It is a teaching game that's going to teach children how to code for those who are interested in learning how to be application developers. I'm actually an application developer myself, and I, I really like what this game uh, does for kids. Uh, and let's have a really quick look at uh, how this game plays out and how it teaches the kids. This is the basic layout of the game. Here we've got the board, and it is the, it is the planet of Mars. And we are, we are cute little astronauts on Mars. And uh, we are here, and, and the object of, of this is to collect minerals. We have to collect food, we have to collect water, or H2O, and we have to collect oxygen, or O2. And there is a difference, Tico, yeah. between H2O and O2. I will say, those two things look very similar. Well, they do. They're, They're both, both bottles. Like blue bottles. <laughs> Yes. Uh, which, yeah, at least is the, the the one of them's crying. One of the bottles is crying, so you know that it's water. <laughs> Good. Yes, the the water is definitely crying there. The uh, we also have minerals that we have to each collect, and the minerals uh, are colored on the back for each of the player colors. We're going to show you uh, in just a second how that gets set up. Additionally, there is a danger on Mars because yeah. apparently Mars has volcanoes full of them. It's full of volcanoes, full so of you volcano. have to be careful. If you find a, a volcano, you are either going to reset back to the beginning or you can use a special card, which we'll get into in a minute. And the basic setup is this. For two players, so we've got this setup for two players. You can have up to four players. I'm going to be the red character. You're going to be the green one. Yep. And we've taken two of each of the resources and two volcanoes, and we've shuffled them face down. Yep. Now, each of us are going to take those. We don't know what we've got. We're going to place them somewhere on the board. The object is we need, as, as our astronauts, we need to place these so anywhere on the board, and we have to collect them. So as the red astronaut, I'm trying to collect one of each resources yep. and then get home. To, your, to the red base. To my red base. Now, we've also got minerals. The way you use minerals is we have been randomly selected uh, two location sites. We each have a card with two yep. locations on it. What's very interesting, again, as a learning game, it gives you description of what this site is. So in this particular case, you have Xanth Terra is a large area just north of the Martian equator. Its name means golden yellow land. Yep. So... These are actual facts about Mars, which is very interesting. Which is, you're learning about you're learning not only coding, but about Mars about as well. Mars itself. Um, I should point out, this part is the advanced game. This is the advanced game. Uh, I think adds a lot more to it when you add in the advanced functions of the game. So I have to place one of my minerals on the Xanth Terra, which is right here, and Candor Chasma, which is my other one here, and that I know is right beside. So those are my two minerals Obviously yeah. indicated by the red on the back, so I have to collect those ones. And I've got mine in the Viking site, and Valis... i turn that around. Uh, Valis Marina, Marineris? Marinara sauce. Valley, Marinara sauce. Valley of the Marinara it's sauce. It's the Valley of Spaghetti. Okay, the game plays out as such. Each player is going to roll a die. I rolled a two. That means I can now select two cards. Let me show you what these cards look like. These cards are simple things such as move one step forward, explore one step to the right, explore two steps in any direction, or explore one step left. And it's uh, similar items like that. I'm going to draw two cards and then use those cards in any order I want yep. to move my astronaut, keeping in mind the astronaut himself will never turn. He doesn't turn. He's always, the way he is facing, that is forward, and back, and then left and right based on the way he's facing. Well, the, and he's always facing his home. Yeah, they've got those big fishbowl helmets on. They can only see out the front of them. You That's can't. Right. They, they don't. They don't fill in. These are older style ones, so you can only see straight. So you're only walking straight. You're only walking, or left and right. Yeah, you just yeah. you you crab shuffle. Now the advanced cards are actual coding cards. In this particular case, you can see while the right is not blocked, explore one step. Right. What that means is this is a while loop. So this is teaching children about loops in coding while the right is not blocked. So if I played that right now, 
Uh, actually, I can't play it right now because that's to my left. But let's pretend this said while the left is not blocked because I'm sure there is there's one right there. Perfect. While the left is not blocked, explore one step left. So I can explore one step left. It's not blocked. It means I can keep going. Now it's blocked because there's a mineral or an astronaut on my left. So now I stop. These are powerful cards because yes. if you want to go all the way across Mars, and you can then you want to use one of these cards to go a long distance. Right. Right? And you would have been able to play that as your second card. Say, for example, you had your first card that said go forward, if you were in here, go forward one, and then play that. In, That's in right. Utilize. So you play them in the order that is going to be the most beneficial exactly. to be able to pick up your resources and get to your home. Uh, there are other cards in here which I love called a function card, and I believe this this is a function card. So in the function card, if we can get that to focus, no, there yep. we go, there, there we is. go. So pick up new cards. So I'm going to pick up two new cards. Pick up new card one, pick up new card two. So I pick up two cards. These two cards are now going to form this function. And so I would play those. Let me just move these out of the way as we don't need them. I would play these in any order I want. I would place them and I would say, okay, that is my function. Explore one step left. Explore two steps in any direction. Yeah. Now, any time I pick up an advanced card that has the function on it, that is my function. Okay. Right, so that happens. So you've basically so created a macro. I've created exactly. I've created a macro. It's essentially teaching children what a set function does. That every time you call that function, the same thing happens. So as you're playing through, if you pull another function, you say, okay, I'm putting my function in my list of actions. That is the function that's going to happen yeah. in that. Again, and now there are, there are more advanced cards. These are cards you can use at any time, save for the diffuse. The diffuse is basically saving you against a volcano. So instead of, uh, if you're able to diffuse, I don't know how you diffuse a volcano. Uh, you, you cut the red wire. Ah! You cut the red wire Beautiful. on the volcano and... And it's done. And it's diffused. If you can't diffuse the volcano, you go back to your starting position. This is a one-time use card. It goes into your list of cards you're using and then gets discarded at the yeah. end of your turn. Peak and Shuffle, however, can be used at any time. Peak allows you to look at any of the resources to find out what they are. Right. Shuffle allows you to take two resources and swap them. And mix them, yeah. Uh, so if you know, for example, there's a volcano in front of you because you you saw one and you moved it. Yeah. Because if you if you don't defuse the volcano, you have to move it somewhere else. Uh, so you can move it out of your way. These can be used at any time, but they are the only action on your turn. So you're not drawing up any you're cards. You're not drawing cards at all. So... Having said all that, the basic gameplay is I roll a die, and as I did earlier, I rolled two. Yeah. So I'm going to draw an advanced card. You can only draw one advanced card no matter what. Even if you roll a one, you can choose one advanced card, but only one advanced card per turn. So I'm going to draw another basic card. I flip them over, and I see an explore one step right. And if left is not blocked or the left is a resource explore one step left else explore one step right so right so this is showing children teaching children the if else statement yeah learning how to read that uh, it's a condition so understanding conditions which is fantastic so if left is not blocked or if left is a resource uh move one step left and then explore one step right these are going to cancel each other out well, essentially this, well, you're you're so your I, I could. Card would, your I, advance card would actually keep going until. No, it's it's a it's a oh, single it's, it's statement. A single. That's a, that's not a while loop. That's a oh, single statement. Yes. So I'm actually going to explore one step right, which takes me nowhere. But then the one step left is going to take me there and essentially not cancel each other out. So I'm going to play them in that order, and then that is my turn, and I would discard those All cards. Right. Now you would roll. And I've rolled. A, you rolled a three. A three. So I'm going to draw, of course, one. One advanced card. One, and then two, and I have... All right, All right so I've let's got, show them out here yeah, so, so we can I've see got, what we've got. I've got a well. Uh, oh, he's got a, he's got a while loop. Yeah. So while forward is not blocked, so this is the same as before, explore one step forward, which is fantastic for you right now because there's a resource yeah. right in front of you. And then I've gotten two, explore any, one step and two step. So you could, if you chose to do so, 
because you have a resource up here, you know that's yours. Yeah. You could use one of these first to get up here and then use your while loop to get over here. Either one of these could get you here or it could get you to the resource. I think, can it get me both? You could. Uh, yeah, you're right. Because if you use this first, right, you'll gets, get to here. Right. Then use this one to get here and this one to get there. You could get and that's, both of them. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that and then use that one to get So there. now he has to look at that resource privately. We obviously know he doesn't have it because he hasn't collected one yet. But the idea is you look at it privately. If it's one you don't have, you put it on your home. You've collected it. If it's one you do have already, you then put it face down again anywhere on the board. So obviously you don't have it, so put it on your, on your, and I, I think you can probably put it face up so you know what you got. No, no, because no, sure. no, then you're, you're not supposed to know which ones I'm still looking for. That's true. That's true. So now you've got, you've done those two. Now yep. you can explore one more and you've got your resource. So again, your resource goes on to your, Ooh. your house. And now that was a really great first, that first was, move. I'm, I'm winning. Obviously. And then these go into my discard. Tico wins even when he loses. That's, yeah. that's how much of a winner he is. It helps to cheat. Let's do one more round, just All for right. example. For, you, you get the idea of how the game plays. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's great. Oh, I got three as well. Sean just doesn't like losing, so he's going to try to make I'm sure he gets ahead. definitely going to try to get ahead. Okay. If resource on Mars is less than four, this is an interesting one, uh, explore two steps in any direction, otherwise, exp or else... Explore one step in any. So resources on Mars less than four, that is false. So I'm going to drop into the else, and that's going to be one step in any direction. So that's one. I also got an explore one step forward and an explore one step in any direction. So, uh, oh, this is a one step any, one step forward. This is a one step any. So I am going to go uh, one step forward. And then I'm going to go one step any and take this resource. Obviously, I don't have one, but I'm going to look at it privately and not show Tico that I got what? a water bottle. Water. And then I can step one direction in uh, one in any direction. I think I will go forward. So it ends up there right in front of another resource, and I'm not fighting over that one free with you. All right. So that is my turn. Why don't you take one more turn for example purposes? A whole two. That's it, you two. loser. And I'm... So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take one of these and one of these. Okay. Well, oh, you've got a while loop. Fantastic. Yeah. So I've got a well forward is not blocked. Explore one step forward. So you can basically get up. You, yeah, it is blocked. One step forward. You can get to here. So. Well, no, that's not forward for me. Oh no, you're right. It's this way. Yeah. But you don't want to go all the way that way. One step to the right, which is this way for you. Yeah. Yeah, again, you have to think which way your guy's facing. Yeah, neither of these really help me much because it's just... Gonna, neither of them help you. Like, I'm going to do... If I do my one step right first, then forward, I'm just going to end up here. That's not forward, though. This is forward. No, I'm saying if I do, if I do my right. step right first and then forward, at least that stops me there. It stops you there. So I'm going to do that. It's, okay, it's, otherwise you would have to stop here. Yeah. And that gets you way out of the way of everything else. Yeah. So as you can see... You're not always going to get cards that help you. You you still have to. You have to play them. Play them. them. You still have to use them and play them. And also keeping in mind your special cards that you want to use, either you know peak or shuffle. And uh, keeping in mind you have a diffuse if you get. You do hit a volcano. If you hit a volcano. Uh, so that is the game. The, the the game ends when the first player reaches their home with all of their resources. Um, and there there's. I guess it's optional, although the, the instructions do say that everyone else keeps playing until they get home as well. Yeah. Um, I guess that's, I it's, would say that's an optional thing. It's, desi it's designed sure. for younger kids, and so yeah. for everybody to be able to have fun and, and to go through, you really want all the kids to be able to get through that. If somebody yeah. finishes really quickly, you don't want the rest of the kids to be like, oh, well, now you Yeah, you allow play. them to play Everybody gets well. to sort of, the, the learning aspect of it is really yeah. important, so keep letting them play. Now, I want to say, as a software developer myself, I love this. Um, it, it is simple. I mean, to me, it's very, very simple. Even at, Tico's not a coder, but he understood it very well. I would say that this is definitely a fantastic game to teach young children how to code and the concepts of sequential coding, yeah. you know, deciding what order to put things in, in order to get your, your astronaut where he needs to go. Uh, as a software developer, I loved the concept. I have fun with it. 
But I would say it is for the children and their parents. This is not a game an adult is going to pick up and have a ton of fun playing. No, no you're not going to get a group of people together for a few beers and, and play this and really, really enjoy. Actually, maybe if you have enough beers, it <laughs> might become quite a bit more entertaining. But this is really a, a, a learning, a it really learning game and a learning experience to be able to, to work with younger children in order to yeah. understand the, the concepts of the, the rules of coding. I agree. And, and from that point of view, I love it. I thought it was great. I had a really fun time playing it myself. I know, Tico, it was it felt too simple for you. It, and I get it. I mean, it's for children. So the, that's the advanced rules do certainly help. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. that uh, first time we did play through, we played through just the basic, which didn't have the the advanced cards right. and the, and the loops the extra... and the functions. And yeah. yeah, so adding adding in those extra things does make it a little bit more enjoyable. Um, it probably is something that I would absolutely love to play with my young daughter. Yes, um, I think yeah. she would really enjoy that. So that is Coder Mars, a coding game for Mars explorers for young children. If you uh, have kids who are looking to learn how to code uh, and while also uh, fascinated with Mars, they want to learn more about Mars, check out Coder Mars. It's available now on Amazon or at your uh, local game store. Thanks for checking out Kicking or this show. This isn't Kicking Tables. This flipping. is Flipping Tables. Flipping Tables. But check out Kicking Tables, too, for our other uh, series. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Bye, guys. Coder Mars. Look at me. Oh, space. I'm flowing through space. Ah. See, that's not how space works. That's basically like how a balloon acts when you let the air out slowly. Well, maybe he's a balloon. I suppose those are just big. A balloon on Mars. <laughs>